In the solar system closest to our own, strange things have been going on. Only four light years separate us from the Proxima Centauri. And for longer than that, astronomers have been noticing some peculiar signals on a planet in the system Proxima b. The most brilliant minds in the space community have been rattled by these strange anomalies known as artificial lights. What are they though? Does this suggest that there is intelligent life on the planet? Do we have another civilization in our interstellar neighborhood? Since the creation of mankind, this has been one of the greatest mysteries. Humans have long questioned the existence of alien life. Where do they live, if they exist at all? What would they look like? Are they attempting to communicate with us in the same way that we are attempting to communicate with them? These are some of the questions that constantly strike our minds. Some people in the world believe that life can only exist on Earth and argue that aliens really wouldn't exist. We space enthusiasts are simply waiting for the day when humanity will be able to decipher the first alien signal or the day when a space agency will publicly recognize the existence of aliens. Scientists are spending billions and billions of dollars to answer these questions. Luck hasn't been on our side despite lots of attempts and research, but everything is about to change thanks to the newest space observatory. The riddle of the unidentified artificial lights on Proxima b may finally be solved by the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope, an engineering marvel and an exhibition work of craftsmanship, is about to change everything. What will James Webb see when it focuses on Proxima b? How will our perception of the universe alter as a result of the discovery? Watch the video with faded breath because things are about to become serious. Late in 2020, a signal from the direction of Proxima Centauri, our nearest neighbor star known as BLC1, was found. To make sure the signal isn't just an echo of our own civilization, which is usually what they turn out to be, it is still being analyzed. So why don't we simply examine the planets in Proxima Centauri to determine if there is a civilization there? From space, the glow from our planet's night sight is the most obvious indication that someone lives on here. Light from our cities is emitted into space. The issue is that the telescopes of today's generation lack the power to detect lights on other solar systems. However, a number of scientists are currently evaluating the capabilities of the already conceptualized next generation of telescopes. We're looking at you, James Webb. What conclusions were drawn? Yes, if technologically or luminously advanced enough, we might be able to tell if Proxima Centauri is home to another civilization. As a result of new technology, particularly the James Webb Space Telescope, a multi-wavelength space-based observatory with the potential to launch in 2035 is the Louvoir, or Large UV Optical LR Surveyor, which is another focus of the new study. The authors Elisa Tabor of Stanford University and Ava Loeb of Harvard note that artificial lighting would be required on a tidally locked planet with a permanent night sight in order to sustain a technological culture. This is one of the longest of long shots because it is incredibly unlikely that civilizations growing around nearby stars will coincide. On the other hand, a civilization that emerges elsewhere might be identifiable by the artifacts it leaves behind on the planet it has chosen to explore. There are a few ways to identify the presence of alien technology on another planet. With a vast constellation of satellites, we might be able to observe, for instance, how the light of a far-off world wanes. The same things you also know take place on Earth. With the growing number of satellites we launch into orbit, atmospheric pollution from nuclear war may be visible. Even though these technological signs could also be brought on by a comet impact, or orbiting debris. Artificial light is different from starlight. Last year, researchers Elisa Tabor and Ava Loeb, who have already been mentioned, went virtual alien light hunting on the web. But because it isn't fully functional, the results were a little shaky. The Proxima b planet, which is the only confirmed planet in the Proxima Centauri system and is 4.25 light years away from Earth, is the target of the JWST. A rocky planet called Proxima b is located in the habitable region of Proxima Centauri an M-class red dwarf star. The mass of our Sun is only 12% smaller than that. Proxima b has a radius that is one-third our size and about one-sixth the mass of Earth. It travels 7 million kilometers, or just 5% of the distance that Earth travels around the Sun, in just 11.2 days, to complete one orbit of Proxima Centauri. Artificial lighting was scaled by Tabor and Loeb 
as a portion of the solar illumination that our planet's day side reflects. On this scale, 0% implies that the planet's night side is completely dark. 100% would imply that the planet's night side and day side are both equally bright, which is also not conceivable. It is assumed that the hypothetical civilization on Proxima b uses a type of light similar to Earth-based LEDs, which are clearly artificial in nature. What have we learned thus far? The web could identify the artificial light with an accuracy of 85%. If Proxima b's artificial night side illumination reaches 5% of the natural day side illumination, Webb's detection rate would increase to 95% if artificial illumination were to reach 9%. 5% illumination doesn't sound like much. We know what you're probably thinking. In contrast to our sun, which is about 20 times fainter, the light from Proxima Centauri is about as bright, similar to setting a firefly next to stadium lights. However, even that much light is substantial on a cosmic scale. In contrast, only 0.001% of the reflected stellar illumination is represented by artificial lighting on Earth. In other words, the web would not be able to detect a civilization on Proxima b, which is as lit up as ours. 500 times more brightness will be required for those lights. That situation is conceivable. As we've previously mentioned, Proxima b's orbit is so close to it, that of its host star, that it may be tidally locked with one side of the planet always facing the star and the other experiencing perpetual night. A tidally locked planet civilization would likely need to concentrate on developing its lighting system, and it may use extremely bright orbital mirrors to reflect sunlight onto the day side of the planet, which could be seen by our telescopes. But of course, that's just a theory. According to Tabor and Loeb's research, other telescopes in the future like LUVAR or the Large UV Optical Infrared Surveyor may be even better than JWST at spotting the glow of an extraterrestrial civilization. However, quite surprisingly, scientists at NASA anticipate that they will be able to identify this artificial light if it exists. By utilizing the near-infrared instrument on the James Webb Telescope and looking for the telltale signals of LED light waves in the light from the planet and its host star, by calculating the light curves from the planet and its host star, the scientists explored the possibility of finding artificial light on Proxima b's dark side. These scientists consider two different scenarios. Artificial illumination with the same spectrum as commonly used LEDs on Earth and a narrower spectrum that leads to the same proportion of light as the total artificial illumination on Earth. They learn that the JWST will be able to pick up artificial lights similar to LEDs that make up 5% of stellar power. James Webb will be able to define the planet's atmosphere if it is able to identify the narrow band-like characteristics of LED bulbs. To evaluate whether or not the light curves match those of an LED light source, researchers can use the devices on the observatory to measure the amount of energy that is transported around the planet. Aside from conventional LEDs that are 500 times more powerful than those found on Earth right now, the JWST will be able to demonstrate the existence of artificial illumination that is of an equivalent size to that of our planet. The Webb Telescope will offer unprecedentedly detailed observations over a broad range of wavelengths thanks to its 6.5-meter mirror, which is larger than Hubble's 2.4-meter mirror. The nearest or near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph, which is a Canadian instrument, will be one of four that will observe in the infrared range and describe the atmospheres of a variety of exoplanets. The Webb Telescope will make it possible to use the mapping techniques at our disposal. Thanks to these measurements, we will be able to learn more about atmospheric processes. So, what are your thoughts about it? Do you think Proxima b is inhabited by aliens? Let us know what you think in the comments section below.